my channel has been like, at least up until this point, irreparably harmed by the reaction I got to being right about that back then. So getting proven correct and getting some amount of rec like recognition for being correct does feel pretty nice, I admit. All right, so I haven't exactly been quiet about um, my I told you so's in regards to... Um, in regards to the Afghanistan situation. For those that don't know, back in April, I think it was, I was invited on Dylan Burns' show uh, to debate whether or not uh, it was a good idea for Biden to pull American troops um, out of Afghanistan. Now, for a little background, we only had a few thousand troops in Afghanistan, I think, and all we were really doing was acting as a, um, a buffer between the Afghan government um, and their military and the Taliban, which are a far-right, ultra-nationalistic, fascist, um, huge military uh, militia group uh, that occupies a lot of the um, more rural parts of... Um, uh, of Afghanistan, and we have been fighting them for roughly 22 years now, uh, I believe. 22 years, I think? Yeah, well, we, we were for about 22 years. We had stayed in um, Afghanistan for a very long time. I do not disagree that it was time for us to pull out. However, after doing a lot of research on the situation and um, learning a lot about it in preparation for that debate panel, I came to find that there were a lot of different, there were a lot of things we could do before and during our pullout that would have helped mitigate how bad the consequences would be for our pullout. And I decided to tweet about it. I decided to tweet, been doing a lot of research on Afghanistan and the Taliban, and I think it's a bad idea for us to pull out right now in the way that we plan to. It was something like that, right? Um, however long Twitter let, let me make that tweet, right? And the response to that was the one of the biggest cancellations I'd ever faced. Just a fucking wave of angry lefties uh, canceling the shit out of me. Lost tons of subs. I ended up putting up a video about it where I clarified my, my position. Um, that video stands as one of my most disliked videos on my channel um, to this day. Um, massive amount of dislikes. Lost thousands of subscribers. Tons of uh, tons of hate. Tons of hate. Um, few months went by and then of course exactly what i said was going to happen ended up happening i was proven completely right and uh you know i've been i've been bragging about it quite a bit well i want you may be wondering what's going on with the people who made video responses about me back in april saying i was wrong what are they saying now what's going on with them now the people who who canceled me back then um, and, uh, now that what I said was going to happen, um, came true. Well, introducing Bad Empanada. This is his second channel. It's like his live stream channel. Bad Empanada is a psychopath. Um, if you want to see how fucking crazy this dude is, watch his debate with Destiny. The dude starts the debate just screaming, like, j like, just fucking screaming. Um, the dude is unironically infrared levels of insane but less funny than infrared infrared's like his insanity is entertaining but this dude's insanity is just depressing uh this guy is crazy he's a hardcore tanky and uh he is now a taliban stan which is nice um you can see he made a video one day ago Re taliban retakes afghanistan the narrative of u.s imperialism falls with it so what i decided to do a couple days after I was proven right about all of this, is I went to his comments section. And I decided to take a look at uh, some of the comments. And every single comment, if you sorted by newest comment on his video on me, um, every comment was saying, this age like milk, turns out Zan was right. Um, even from his own fans, there were people revisiting to say, shit, I guess Xander Hall was right. And one of them said, well, turns out Taliban's were in a position to take back the country after all, because uh, Bad Empanada said that was not possible. And then he's now switched his position to, and that's an incredibly good thing, your point. He is now a Taliban stan. 
So that's great, right? Um, taking women's rights away, uh, murdering people, you know, uh, revo revocation of democracy. Um, they banned women uh, pr previously before they took over. Um, women were allowed to go to school, own businesses and work. They've taken women's rights away to do that. Obviously, the Afghan people aren't very thrilled about the Taliban takeover uh, as they have, you know, tried. They're evacuating the country in mass. You've seen the videos of them climbing on planes trying to get out of there. Um, and then something even funnier fucking happened, dude. Um, I, so I, I, I decided right before bed just to check it again. Cause I want a bit of a dopamine rush before bed. Um, uh, uh, you know, I just, I just want a little bit of a dopamine rush before bed. So I decided to go reread that comment section. And, um, I scrolled down to a comment from two months ago where someone said in order for the Taliban to even theoretically be able to abolish democracy in Afghanistan, they'd have to first overthrow the existent, uh, existing puppet regime and then install a democratic regime just for the purpose of abolishing it, which seems a little bit unergonomic, basically arguing that it's impossible for the Taliban to take over. So I reply, interesting. And then Bada Banata responded, Hey, tiny boy, want to hop on stream and debate this? You've been terrified of me for more than a year now. It's time for you to show us your incredible knowledge. Which is very ironic considering his video had just been proven so definitively wrong, and I was proven so definitively right, that every new comment on the video was saying, This aged like milk. Um, and of course, I offered to debate Bad Empanada back in the day. He was in my chat spamming over and over again. And the reason why I, why I banned him from my chat was because I kept asking him, what do you want to debate about? And he said, I want to debate why you think Joe Biden is the best president ever. I was like, I don't think Biden's the best president ever. I just think he's better than Trump because he was a Bernie or Buster. I was like, he's like, no, you think this. I'm like, no, I don't. Would you tell me a position that I actually have that you want to debate on? We can debate it. And then he kept on saying that I believed, like, in the chat, screaming, like, in all caps, that I believed that Joe Biden was, like, a super, like, communist lefty or something. And I was just like, okay, dude. So I blocked him. Oh, and he also said that my, like, you guys notice how I shake sometimes or my desk shakes sometimes because I've got, like, jitter legs, like, my legs bounce. He said that I was shivering because I was afraid of him because I was my legs were bouncing. So, yeah. I've just ignored him and not given him attention for a while now. But... It gets even fucking funnier. What the I woke doing? up the next morning after going to sleep that, that night because I wanted to see if more people had come to dunk on um, on Bad Empanada for a shitty video on me. Because I, I am very much enjoying the I told you so's. And I sort by newest first. And the, oh, the newest comment the next morning is from five days ago. The day that this was taken. The day before the uh, the Taliban had taken over. He deleted every single new comment up until the fifth, uh, the five days before. Um, he deleted every new comment saying it aged like milk. Um, because, like, he, de he just deleted them all. He just he deleted all the comments because he was so mad. <laughs> I want to see, has he, has he, like, been on top of deleting more? I wonder if he's deleted even more. Let's go to his video on me. Here, let's look it up. Xander Hall, Afghanistan. Oh, you know who also made a video about this as well? Um, though he made a video responding to Dylan, who, say what you want about Dylan with this whole fucking drama going on right now, but Dylan knows his shit about foreign policy. Um, you know what he said about Dylan? Uh, or what Mike from PA said about Dylan? He said that, um, uh, 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 he said that he kept on calling the Afghans Afghanis, which is pretty fucking funny. Um, and he, he was just made it like unbelievably clear. He had no idea what the fuck was going on. Uh, it, like Mike from PA or Mike from Pashtun. And then he went like full on pro Taliban as well. Like, yeah, Mike from PA made a big joke of himself out of it too. And I, I, I enjoyed watching Dylan dunk on Mike from PA. Um, yeah, no, he's still deleting comments. He'll probably get to this one pretty soon. I mean, this is from 20 hours ago. This is the same comment that I showed here. You can see this one, Hugo Castellaros or whatever, right here. This person commented 20 hours ago. He hasn't gotten to it yet. Uh, uh, Taliban already won. Uh, and if we scroll down here, you can see that he was deleting comments because here's one from 15 hours ago on the same video when I took the screenshot right before bed um, saying, well, it turns out the Taliban's uh, were in a position to take the country back after all. He's actively still deleting comments on his video saying it aged badly, which is fucking hysterical. Look up any thread or any comment or any video 
shitting on me from back then. And it's tons of people saying that their that their takes aged badly, and I was right. Listen, it's a travesty. It's a fucking tragedy what happened um, in Afghanistan and what the Afghan people are going through. But I do have to admit, it is mighty satisfying to have been like, my channel has been like, at least up until this point, irreparably harmed by the reaction I got to being right about that back then. So getting proven correct and getting some amount of rec like recognition for being correct does feel pretty nice, I admit. Especially when I took such a big hit to my income and my like YouTube career, having my ha having that take in the first place. Um, going pro Taliban is what the hell is wrong with these people? Yeah, like their entire narrative is switched. Remember, a few months ago, it was the Taliban can't take over. Um, we should pull out because the Afghan people want us out. That wasn't true at all, by the way. Um, polls do not reflect that. Um, and now it's the Taliban are good, and it's good that the Taliban took over. And, and you know, the, the Afghans just don't know that it's what they need. They just don't, because they, they, they've had the, America's been ruling, you know, the, the, the government that America put in, in place there has been ruling for 22 years. They just don't know yet that the Taliban are the best, the, the Taliban ruling is just the best for them, you know? Uh, they're fighting against colonialism and imperialism. Yeah, yeah it's, um, I'm losing respect for every populist, like, lefty like, a significant amount by the day. Um, Kyle Kalinske, I've never liked. Um, I dislike him even more now. I think Kyle Kalinske is probably one of the biggest pieces of shit in the, like, left-wing political space. He, like, that's, like, popular and has a platform. I think he's one of the biggest pieces of shit out there. Um, he's also extremely stupid. Obviously, Jimmy Dore is pretty up there as well. Um, bigger than Kyle Kalinske, because I don't think Kyle Kalinske's ever sexually harassed Anna Kasparian. Um, but yeah. Like, Vosh? Vosh agreed with me, Wayne. Um, yeah. I don't know. The, I think, um, as I do this, as I've done more and more, um, as I've done politics for longer and longer, and I've gotten older doing politics, granted it's only been a couple years now, I've gotten more and more and more and more every day less tolerant of populists. Um, I, I genuinely think populism is cancer. I really, really do. Uh, I become less tolerant of it as each day goes by. Um, I think it's a poison to the left. I think it's the enemy of pragmatism and um, actually making good progressive change in this country and in the world in general. Um, it's really, really fucking pissed me off. It's something that annoys the shit out of me about Shu. Um, but I, I know Shu's heart is in the right place. She's just very, very, very bad at thinking a few seconds before she tweets. Um, but yeah, so you a Destiny fan? Not really. I mean, I watch Destiny stuff from time to time, but I haven't watched a Destiny stream in like, I don't think I've watched a Destiny video besides what we just watched on stream today in like two months. Like legitimately, I don't really watch Destiny much. Sometimes I drop into DGG and I talk to people there, but I don't watch the stream. He's always playing League or some shit. Um, yeah, Sock Dem Pilled. I... One of the big reasons why I start, started saying I was identified as a sock dem was following my cancellation for the Afghanistan thing. Like, that was, that was one of the things that made me start saying I'm a sock dem. I still like socialism. I still like the idea of socialism and think it's cool, but I don't want to associate with the types of people that think there's going to be a revolution tomorrow and that, um, like, the fucking Democrats are pedophiles who are eating babies and shit. Um, you know, like, I think a lot of, uh, like, populist lefties also play too much with conspiracy, for my liking. Like, Shu on Head, she's, I, I, I know I keep bringing her up, but Shu on Head really fucking, um, like, dips too much into conspiracy theories. She unironically thinks George Bush did 9-11, and I think she actually believes, like, I think she actually kind of believed in Pizzagate or something. No, I don't know about that, actually. But I know she thinks that, like, Hillary Clinton was, like, raping kids with Epstein or whatever. I think she actually believes that Hillary Clinton had Epstein killed. I think she actually unironically believes that Hillary Clinton had Epstein killed. If I'm wrong, then she can, she can argue it. But I've seen multiple tweets and videos of her Pepe posting about how she thinks Hillary Clinton had 
Epstein killed. Like, it's just shit like that, you know? Also, her weird thing for Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson is kind of sus, too. I don't know. I, I just really don't... Yeah. We're, we're going to do the shoe segment tomorrow. We're going to w- react to shoe on head and Hunter Avalon's debate tomorrow. And I got to admit, I'm already biased in favor of Hunter. I think I think Hunter is politically smarter than shoe on head. Um, I think Sh- uh, uh, Hunter is far more politically like pragmatic than shoe on head. And I got to say, if shoe on head and Hunter debate, I'm going to be I'm going to be rooting for Hunter. Um, I'm going to absolutely be rooting for Hunter. Um, and that doesn't mean I don't like shoe on head and I'm not friends with shoe on head and I don't like, you know, think she's a cool person, but she really needs to think before she tweets. She's got to think before she tweets, dude. She's really got to think before she tweets. I'll read Donos in a second. We got a big one. I know, but we got, she's got to start thinking before she tweets. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, Ring that goddamn bell icon if you haven't already so YouTube actually tells you when I go live, upload a video, or upload a short or anything like that. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and all my other social media. The link's down in the description. And of course, if you want to support me financially to help me both keep doing this for a living and to raise a little extra money to get a VR headset so I can do um, virtual reality streams, I really, really want to stream The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, which looks like a super fun virtual reality zombie killing game where you like physically stab the zombies and like have to use VR to like aim down your sights to shoot your gun and you're like wandering around this destroyed like Louisiana, like like New Orleans city that's all flooded and full of zombies. It looks so fucking fun. We're raising $1,000 to get the VR equipment to play it on stream as well as other VR games. But um, if you want to support me financially and help me raise money for that, uh, you can donate, subscribe, or give subs to my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, or donate through um, Streamlabs. Uh, If you want to donate through any other way, uh, while it won't help raise money for the VR headset because I don't get the money right away, you can super chat or hit the join button, become a channel member on YouTube or sub, gift a sub or prime sub over on Twitch. Any support that you lend, however, no matter what, if it's a like, a comment, anything like that is always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.